Hi everybody, my name is Vanessa Marquez Williams, coming to you from El Paso, Texas. I am a founding member of Women Uplifting Women and the El Paso Nista, and I've decided I'm going to do weekly video blogs. I am blogging to help uplift people, and you know, honestly, every single day, every single week, you learn something new. I learn something new every single day, and I just want to share what I've learned with you guys to hopefully help you have a better day, have a better week, have a better life. I have a heart to help people help people succeed, help people follow their dreams. I especially have a huge heart for entrepreneurs, and so that's where I'm coming from. I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, today's video is about not letting people rain on your parade. So at the beginning of this year, my father suggested that I read a book by Ogmandino called A Better Way to Live. It has 17 rules to live by, so I decided I'm going to read one rule a day and focus on that rule and try to implement it in my life. And one of my favorite rules was rule number 15. I'm going to read it to you guys. It says, rule number 15, never allow anyone to ride on your parade and thus casting a pale gloom and defeat over the entire day. Remember that no talent, no self-denial, no brains, no character are required to set up the fault-finding business. Nothing external can have any power over you unless you permit it. Your time is too precious to be sacrificed in wasted days combating the menial forces of hate, jealousy, and envy. Guard your fragile life carefully. Only God can shape a flower, but any foolish child can pull it to pieces. Ogmandino. I think that quote is so fantastic, so amazing, and it's true. You know, you don't have any control over things that happen to you, but you have every control over things, or over the way that you react to it. And so I'm going to give you an example. Well, in my life, I I try not to let things bother me. I really do a good job at that. Little things don't bother me. But sometimes things get to, you know, get through your skin and it bothers you. So this one day, my husband and I are um, grocery shopping. It's a holiday weekend, and we were we had to pick up some last-minute things to go to a barbecue at my parents' house. We're driving in Albertsons. We, you know, can't find parking. We're driving around looking for parking, looking for parking. Finally find a parking. So I go. I'm about to pull in. This crazy lady cuts me off, steals my parking, and has the audacity to blow me a kiss. She goes, oh, I was so mad. I was so mad. We were looking for parking forever. Finally found it. She steals it and then blows me a kiss. So we finally find parking. We go into the store. I'm still mad about it. I'm still steaming. I'm still thinking about it. Like, it is crazy lady. I can't believe she did that. Oh, my God. Still thinking about it. We finish our grocery shopping. I, we're paying. We're going to the car. I'm still upset about it. I'm still thinking about it. And on our way to my parents' house, I started thinking, you know what? Today is too beautiful. Today is too amazing. I'm about to spend time with my family, with my sisters. We're going to swim and have a good time. Do not let this crazy lady ruin your day. So I decided, you know, I would still think about it throughout the day, but I decided every time I think about it, I'm going to push it away. I'm going to forgive that lady. It really, truly isn't that big a deal. Like, it bothered me a lot, but in the grand scheme of life, it's not a big deal that she cut me off and stole my parking. Um, so that's what I want you guys to do every single day. Don't sweat the small stuff. Don't let things bother you. Especially little things. I mean, really, you're not going to let a little crazy lady ruin your day. So that's what I'm going to talk to you.